Hi everyone, welcome back to Live Darts with me, Phil Bars. It's that time of week again, it's Premier League preview as we look forward to week 11 in Cardiff this coming Thursday. But first of all, let's rewind, let's go back to Liverpool. Sensational night of darts on the Albert Dock. First up, Rob Cross beat Peter Wright 8-5. Uh, Rob in absolutely sensational form right now. He was under the weather. He said in our interview afterwards, so glad he went on first because if he was towards the end of the night, he thinks he would have struggled um, with fatigue and everything like that. But Peter Wright went back to a dart that he knows works. His grouping was better. His just pure judgment of the board was better. 8-5, probably one of his best performances in the Premier League. Will he keep the same setup going to Cardiff? Probably not. But... Peter Wright's best performance, but Rob Cross stays top of the table with a stunning victory. Then from there, Gerwin Price beat Mensor Silovic 8-5. It wasn't a classic. Again, both players under the weather. A lot of man flu going around in the PDC locker room right now. But Price did the big things when it really mattered. Went 3-0 up. Uh, Mensor came back at him, but he found that extra gear and a huge two points as Gezi Price pushes towards that playoff place. Could be pivotal heading towards the 0-2. Then from there, James Wade against Daryl Gurney, a 7 all draw, wading, pure and simple. Uh, DG, 104 average to Wadey's 90 average, 14 points difference in there. But James Wade does what James Wade does. He finds a way not to lose a darts match. He's in sensational form, the machine right now, as we'll touch on later on. But a point doesn't do either of them any favours. Marginally better for James than Daryl. But we spoke to Daryl afterwards, he massive point dropped, he felt felt he did enough to win the game. But that's what happens in top quality on the hockey. Uh, seven or draw, yeah, good performance from both, but Daryl will be disappointed. Then from there, MVG takes on bully boy Michael Smith in the last game of the night. Wow, MVG came out focused, determined. Found himself 4 0 up in the blink of an eye, threatening a world record average. Tailed off slightly. Bully Boy played really well, but 8 3 to the big green machine. These pair have met a lot in big games, and it's always MVG that seems to get the better of Michael Smith right now. Uh, Michael Smith can take plenty of positives from his performance, but you could see this week, unlike the week before, that focus and steeliness in MVG from moment off he knew how important this game was two points to keep the pressure on Rob Cross so after Liverpool it's as you were at the top Rob Cross a point clear of Michael Van Gerwen as the pair meet in Cardiff this week which we'll come to shortly then an intriguing four way battle for what is me the last two remaining places in the playoffs right now it is James Wade and Gerwin Price that hold those places on a leg difference. Mensal Sudovic and Daryl Gurney outside the top four. Daryl mainly because those two hammerings he took early on, that's absolutely destroyed his leg difference. So if he's going to get in the top four, he's going to need to do it on wins alone. Um, it's going to take an awful lot to turn that leg difference around in a short space of time. Then from there, Peter Wright on eight, um, nine points, Michael Smith on eight points. They're probably going to have to win five out of five if they have any chance of making the 0-2. I think it might be a little bit too much for the pair, unfortunately. So for me, the top two are almost guaranteed the 0-2. Then it's a four-way split, four-way battle to decide who goes to the 0-2 finals night. Right, moving forward. Going to Cardiff this week. Yes, we're going to the Welsh capital. Gerwin Price should get so much home support this week, but you never know. The pantomime villain routine he plays, but we've spoken to him recently. He's really excited to be going home, as he calls it. I know Daryl put a lot of pressure on himself to get to um, Belfast. I think it was the same for Gezi, just desperate not to get relegated he was because he wanted to play in front of his home fans. Four stunning games here in Cardiff this week, so let's run you through it. First up, Mensal Sudovic takes on Daryl Gurney. Uh, Daryl, a slight favourite with the bookies. I can't really argue with that right now. Uh, Mensah, not a great week on for him. He struggled in the Pro Tour the week before. Didn't play particularly well in uh, Liverpool last week. Pulled out of the Pro Tour this coming this weekend. Just gone to rest up and get better. Hopefully Mensah comes back far in. But for me, 6-5 to five on Daryl Gurney. It's a decent price and I, and I like that. Um, I like the double up as well. Daryl Gurney win and most 180s pays a good price as well. But for me, Daryl Gurney wins this one. I'm going to go 8-5 to DG um, and leaps frogs uh, Mensa into, into the top four, hopefully. Then from there, the game of the night. It's the second game. It's the top two collide. It's Rob Cross takes on Michael Van Gerwen. 
Michael needs to win. Plain and simple. If the Green Machine wants to top the table again, he has to win in Cardiff. It's a good price on Michael for a change. 8 to 15 because Rob is playing so well. 10 to 3 for Rob. It's a big price if you if you like value and looking at odds. However, Rob's record against Michael in the Premier League isn't great. He's f never won more than two legs against Michael in a Premier League game. He got a battering in Dublin, but he said, Rob openly admits he made mistakes in that game. He know what he did wrong, put too much pressure on himself. Oh, it's, it's a great game. Both are playing so well. Ranked one and two in the world, one and two in the Premier League table. It's going to be close, but I'm going to go Michael to snap this one. I'm going to go for an 8-6 win to Michael Van Gerwen, who goes back top of the table. But the form they're in, this could be an absolute Premier League classic. So really looking forward to that game. From there, Michael Smith takes on Gerwin Price. Surprisingly, Michael Smith is a slight favourite with the bookies, considering where they are on the table and everything like that, Price being in Cardiff. Yeah, and a really intriguing game, this one. I thought Price would be the slight favourite with the bookies, but he's not. Didn't play particularly well last week, and if it's the same sort of performance, Michael Smith will win this game. Michael Smith last week played better than Gerwin Price, but didn't get the result but mainly down to who they were playing. I think that Cardiff Hearts could be broken this week. I think that Smith could steal the show. Great weekend on the Pro Tour for Michael Smith, a final and a semi-final, losing to James Wade in both of them, where Price, one good day or one-ish day, one poor day, lost to Aaron Monk in the first round on the Saturday, and then got his revenge on the Sunday. Uh, but I'm going to go Bully Boy to steal this one. I, I don't know why, I just... Something's telling me Michael Smith will get a result here. I'm going to go 8-5 to Michael Smith in this game. Last game of the night, he's Peter Wright taking in the informed James Wade right now. James Wade has won three out of the last four Pro Tours. Unbelievable form from the machine right now. Peter Wright, what setup will he use? If he sticks with the same setup from last week, this could be a really good game, I have to say. But if he doesn't, if he chops and changes and goes back to something that doesn't particularly work, then it could be awful. We just don't know what Peter Wright's going to do right now. James Wade's level of consistency is extremely high right now. And I'm going to go for the machine to win this one. Uh, like I say, it, it could be, I could get completely thrown off here and Wright could play like he did last week. But I just think there's too many inconsistencies in Wright's game right now he hasn't backed it up week from week so I'm going to go I think the machine's going to nick this one I'm going to go 8-5 win to James Wade and that could be a huge two points for the machine heading towards the 0-2 uh, we all know that James course and distance he knows how to win this Premier League he's done it before so if he can get to the 0-2 you certainly wouldn't back against him to, to do that I know obviously if Michael tops the league then finishing fourth maybe not the best but there's still so many permutations to go through before we get to the O2, but really looking forward to that. But I'm going to go James to win. Remember, follow us at Live Darts, all social media platforms. We've got Facebook, we've got Twitter, we've got Instagram, and we've got YouTube. And of course, the website, we'll have all the information you need on how to bet, the best sign-up offers, how to stream the event if you're not in the UK. Everything you need will be at Live Darts. You do not need to go anywhere else for the Unibet Premier League. And last but not by no means least, thanks very much for all your amazing comments over the last couple of weeks for the work that's gone in from Jay and I here at Live Darts. Really appreciate it. And you know we're always here when it comes to, to die in action on the television and away from it on the streamed events well everyone scores below please like always you've been really really killing it of late no matter what platform you're on whether it's facebook whether it's twitter whether it's youtube get your predictions below and see how you get on from week to week thanks everyone and we'll see you all in cardiff on thursday